Today on Extreme Travels, we're going to look at the Margaritaville adult-only all-inclusive resort in Riviera Maya. Yeah, that's about 20 minutes south of the Cancun airport. We went there on a work trip for a week, and it was fantastic. Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. My wife and I are lucky enough not only to travel the world, but we usually get to fly first class, which is always kind of nice. We had a, kind of the bed seats in this plane, which was great. If you've never flown first class, it is pretty neat. Not only the food you get, but the unlimited alcohol. But for me, it is mostly the space. So that's how we started off this trip. And then when we got there, we had prearranged transportation to the resort. The resort, like I said, was about 20 miles south of the airport, and it was some back roads that took us there. So we were a little worried at first as it is a foreign country, although we've been to Mexico about 20 or 30 times. But there's the resort. This is a brand new resort when we went there. It was only about seven or eight months old. It was decently clean, which is what we were hoping for. The inside of the lobby was fabulous, as most resorts were. And right when we got in, we were welcomed by everybody, the baggage handlers, the people at the front, very, very outgoing people here. I would say the bartenders, we'll talk a little bit about that. They weren't rude, but they weren't as outgoing and pleasant as some of the other people. So after we got our room, we kind of went around the resort. You can see right here, and we actually had a swim up. Not a swim out. They have swim outs as well, and a lot of people in our party had a swim out. But a swim up, as you see right here, it was actually on the fourth floor, and it's kind of an infinity pool overlooking. So here's a more detailed tour of that room. You know, interestingly enough, we originally had two different rooms because this is part of a work trip and we came early. One was an ocean view and then the other was a swim out. But they booked us in a swim up the entire time. So we're gonna see if that works here. But first, when you come in, nice little area to put your shoes on, kind of nice. And as we may have talked about already, we, this place is kind of modernized. Here's your bathroom. So you have your water closet and stuff to read while you're uh, taking a dump. A scale at an all-inclusive, which to me is always a miss. Very important. Uh, it's only a single vanity, which uh, we're gonna have to take turns uh, washing. Here is the bathroom. bathroom. So that, again, this is a swim up. You have a rain shower above, and then a tub in the middle, and it can also see over here. I do see a curtain, so we just came in this room, so there may be things I'm missing, but see that curtain, you can lower that if you don't want your naked rear end spied on. Closet right here with an iron board and an iron, which is good because we have a formal dinner the last night. Some um, shelving and of course a safe, some slippers and some uh, umbrella, which is fantastic. So here you have a mini bar. Now they do the mini bar a little different. I'm still trying to figure it out. So water is free and you can order as much water as you want every single day. And you get a number of points that you actually go to the store and you purchase alcohol or snacks under those points. So we haven't really experienced that yet, but look, uh, Margaritaville, classic Margaritaville, you have a shaker, margarita glasses, coffee maker, mirror right there. Here is the other side when you are looking into it. Oh, did you just lower that? So Mrs. Zex, my wife just lowered that so you can see that right there. But here is a look of the room, very large room for an all-inclusive. So here you have a king size bed with a couple of nightstands. I'm not seeing any power outlets, but I believe there are some. Do you see any power outlets, Mrs. X? There's, There's one right, right there. A USB and an AC adapter on both sides. So that's nice. Some all-inclusives don't have that. You have a TV, which if you're coming to watch this isn't adults only, so maybe they have a channel, what was that, 262? Something. Adults only? Yeah. Uh, then you have another large living room. So again, I don't know if this is standard at all the different rooms. This is the swim up. And what's crazy about this huge room, we haven't even seen the best part yet. So again, we were supposed to have an ocean view and then a swim out. And they said they upgraded us uh, for a swim up. And this is the swim up. I haven't been outside yet, but you can see it right here. You have a pool and an ocean view all together. So we are on the fourth floor. This is room 462, if you ever stay here. Uh, just know that my DNA will be on the bed. I don't know how to open this door. Maybe. 
How do you open this door, Mrs. X? Oh. We don't know how to get out, but if we can, it's, oh, there we go. All right. So here we go. So share this with neighbors, it appears. But that concludes the room tour of a swim up at Margaritaville Riviera Maya. Pretty damn cool room. So we're gonna look at the rest of the grounds first. These are the swim out. So these are on the bottom floor, like I said. This is one of the rooms we originally had reserved for part of the trip, but we ended up staying in that swim up the entire time. And we liked it quite a bit better. You had a better view of the beach. Now they had swim outs on both sides. And one of the really cool things about these is they would go under bridges and they actually connected, at least one of them did, to a larger pool. Now in that larger pool that it connected to, it actually had a swim up bar. So in theory, you could go right out of your room into the pool and swim up to a bar. Now this right here is that smaller pool that I'm talking about that was actually connected. And there was always plenty of seating everywhere, not only on the outsides of the pool, but there had some, uh, a lot of areas where there were smaller pools even, where you could actually sit in lots of uh, chairs and loungers, some concrete, some made of different materials. Here's some cabanas outside. All of this is included, so a lot of resorts may charge you extra. They did not here. However, they did have a main pool as well. This is where all the activities happened. They had a number of things scheduled, whether it was water aerobics, volleyball, basketball, just uh, a, a big way to keep everyone busy. You can see a swim up bar as well, which was really useful. And you don't have to be in the pool. You can go behind it on the front there and get the drinks as we often did. But beautiful views of the ocean from this uh, pool as well. So this is kind of where we camped out every day. When we go to these resorts, we too often don't go out of the resort anymore. We just hang around and get drunk and uh, have fun at the pool and the beach. So unfortunately, when we booked this, they had a beautiful beach, but it was taken out by a hurricane as you see here. There was still limited access to the beach depending on the weather. Some days they would open it up. And I really hesitate calling it a beach because as you see, there's really not much there. It's a stone wall, broken steps, and that's about it. Now, because this is a smaller resort, the length of this is probably 100 yards at most until you run into other resorts. But theirs were gone as well due to a hurricane. So this was a big negative but again, not really their fault. So here are a few shots of the resort at night. And before we dive into the next category, which will kind of be events and things they're doing, not only the big group event that we had, but uh, just some other stuff I didn't mention when I was talking about the pool. They did a fabulous job arranging our event. So they had a special welcome. We had about 90 people come. You know, I'd been planning this for months and they welcomed us with frozen margarita popsicles, which is kind of neat. And they even had this uh, luxurious buffet, if you will. So uh, just snacks, which was really good because after people traveled four to six hours, uh, they definitely wanted to dive right in. They do have a ballroom that looks a little bit dated, as you can see right here. Now, we only use this for check-in. Since we had a larger group, it was uh, expediting check-in here. But where we spent most of our group events, we only had a few of them uh, that were organized, was like on this rooftop terrace. I think it was called the Sky Lounge absolutely amazing uh, this is where we did like an award ceremony and you can see right here they did a fabulous dinner for us that included a bunch of different options as well and the price really wasn't that bad the dinner alone I think cost $2,500 for 90 people so and that includes an open bar of course because it is an all-inclusive resort but definitely a good option but some of the other things we did on a daily basis I talked to you they did sports and games and water aerobics but they put on some shows too we didn't stay up for too many of the night shows but they did a lot of stuff during the day but without a doubt, the highlight of the trip was the foam party. So they do a foam party a couple times a week. They would literally spray foam out of that gun that you see in the back, and we have some video coming up here, for about two hours with just music blasting and beach balls flying everywhere. But I do have to tell you that uh, the few times we went to the foam party, I like I said, they have it twice a week, uh, medics were called because it does get pretty deep pretty fast. But we had an absolutely amazing time, and it's funny as I'm, Narrating over this, I see a lot of the people that are in our group just having a blast with huge smiles on their faces. But yeah, if you've never done one of these, it's definitely something worth going for. So now that we've covered that, I wanna cover the food. 
So on top of the bars that you saw, there's a few interior bars as well, and you want to think of a bar for your room. They only give you water in your room, but then you get points. So not money, but points where you can actually go to a market that they have that you can buy some things or you can use points. They have a variety of different options from liquors, wines, soda, snacks, beer. Now for us, it was more than enough because keep in mind, everything is always all inclusive. So this is just really for your room. Uh, we actually had points left over where a few people, they were drinking a 12 pack a day in the room and so they didn't have enough points. But they even had unique stuff like Dr. Papper. Never seen that before. I tasted some. It was absolutely fantastic. Food, you have four or five restaurant options. One is this outside uh, chill. The nice thing about this is you eat it straight outside, you order it and they bring it to your table, so that was pretty good. They also have a buffet line every day for lunch, as you can see right here. And they switched up what it was. Sometimes it was Mexican food, sometimes it was seafood, sometimes it was burgers and dogs. So I really like that aspect, because again, it's something you can eat outside and you don't have to worry about getting dressed and going into one of the restaurants because they had a few different nice rest sit down restaurants for the evening. And a lot of these felt really Americanized. So the Frank and Lola's, that was an Italian restaurant. That was actually our favorite. And I think most people agreed with that as well. We didn't take any pictures of the steak restaurant. Um, that, you know, it's Mexico, the steak wasn't the best. Uh, and in my opinion, it was overcooked. That's the only one you need reservations. Now for breakfast and dinner, you can go to the boathouse, except on Wednesdays, it's not open for dinner. This is your buffet. And again, they varied up what they had, but they had a lot of the same similar items. And I would actually rate this on a one to five scale, probably three and a half or four for buffet food. You know, like I said, this didn't really feel like a Mexican resort compared to a lot of the other ones we went to. Uh, it felt very Americanized. I kept using that word over and over, but they also had a plethora of uh, Mexican food dishes, even at breakfast, which I really appreciated. So we would eat here for breakfast each morning. I would say the breakfast was probably about a four, four and a half. But even dinner was good if you wanted to go here. They also had a pub and brewery we ate dinner at, and they had brewed beer. That was excellent. We just didn't so get The last thing I'll leave you with, I forgot to get pictures. Uh, we actually caught an earlier flight home due to the weather, but it was a beautiful resort. It's still well upkept, which is kind of nice. We had a few room problems, but they fixed it really, really fast. Uh, they have a sand volleyball court, as well as the pool volleyball, as well as a couple pickleball courts, so if that's your thing. so. Again, great value for the money. We had an absolutely amazing time and we would go back even with, if it was without a group. So highly, highly recommend it if you're considering it. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one was easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. This is your first time here. Thank you for tuning in. So we do travel videos two or three times a month. The rest of it is about other extreme lifestyle like events and especially collectibles, if you haven't figured that out. But thank you so much. If this gave you some information, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. And if you want to know what I look like, you saw my goofy face in some of those photos. Check out my other videos.